So taking a little bit different approach, um, I've not had runner kid walk because it's creating a lower scoliosis, but at the same time, I don't want her to be afraid of, of walking or I just don't want her to develop that mindset of, I can't, Cindy, lift that up over the, the threshold. Um, Got to lift up and over, lift up. And so here's how we just work together as a family. And what I'm going to do to her chair is I'm actually going to get um, some arm floaties for her to sit on so she can sway back and forth. So right now she's on a hard chair. And so the way that her scoliosis is, it makes it so that she um, favors one side. But for movement structure, she needs to be able to weight transfer back and forth. Um, and so... If I get some arm floaties and stick them on, like, so stick them around this part here so she can sit on the arm floaties and weight transfer back and forth, this will make her walking a lot more success, uh, successful and more, um, more, I don't know if lifelike is the right word, but just compatible to the movement structure. So like and subscribe to the channel so that you're getting more tips of how to improve your child's, uh, quality of life using tools like the amazing kid walk but at the same time the thing that you don't want to compromise is the movement structure so right now she's just hanging in, in this and so we need to modify it slightly to support movement structure and i'll show that in the next video